Marianne Guasano reporting from AirVenture 2025 in Oshkosh. For the past couple of years, Avidyne has been working on FAA certification for the Vantage flight deck for early gen Cirrus airplanes that had the Integra glass cockpit. Just in time for the show, Avidyne has earned FAA certification for the system. Here's Avidyne's Dan Schwinn. Okay, so I'm Dan Schwinn from Avidyne, and we're here talking about the certification of our Vantage, which we received yesterday from the FAA. This is the Vantage 12 for aimed at the first generation of Cirrus. There's about 4,000 of them built from around 98 to 2008. And the system consists of two large screen displays, one which is a primary flight display and one which is a multifunction display, which can do a bunch of different things. It's paired with the Avidyne IFDs, our preferred configuration. The one we're showing here is an IFD 440 and an IFD 540. It also uh, is paired with the Avidyne DFC 90 autopilot and our audio panel. The DFC 90 autopilot has been very popular in the Cirrus so far. The, uh, a third or more of the fleet is already equipped with them. The IFDs have also been popular. And now we've got these large displays as another uh, uh, kind of the final piece of the puzzle. The primary flight display has synthetic vision. It's a 12 inch display as compared to the 10 inch displays that it replaces, but we've managed to fit it into the same space under the glare shield. And the multifunction display also a 10 inch. One of the biggest differences on these screens is that they are touch screens, which the prior generation was not. The IFDs have been touch screen all along. Another big difference between this and the first generation is that in the first generation system, the primary flight display and the MFD are completely independent systems. Whereas in this case, the, PF, the MFD can actually act as a backup primary flight display. It's got its own independent ARS and it can be in a split key screen configuration. Also will drive the autopilot seamlessly. So a big benefit of the system is that now you've got redundancy of your screens. Um, it's, a, it's a very easy install because it's designed to reuse the harnesses that are in the airplane. And it's a very easy transition for the pilot because the buttonology is similar. The primary flight display doesn't have any other functions. And the multifunction display has some things that people will be very familiar with like the engine page and the chart page and several other things which are work very, very similar to the system that's replaced. So this will be definitely a very easy installation for the shop and it will be an easy uh, transition for the pilot. We've, we, we announced this several years ago. We've been working on it steadily. We have you know hundreds of hours on it on a couple of different Cirruses. And we were very happy that yesterday we managed to get the, uh, the FAA to sign off on. The display, the retail price of the two display system is 33,000. And that includes the return of your existing core displays for us to use in the service. And, and, and there's no options that you really need with that. Although there is the ability to get a redundant air data computer and a redundant magnetometer as an option. But the, but the redundant ARS, which is what you need for your autopilot, comes with every one of them. We, as part of the kit, you can actually get the instrument panel from us. And that's important because this stuff barely fits and you need to cut this perfectly. It took us five tries to get it right. Uh, so we've made several different versions of blank instrument panels available uh, for installers to use. In general, people will probably put their own overlay on it. We, we're we're going to sell some overlays for some different variants of a Cirrus. But if people want to have their end number on it, or if they've changed their ignition, or if they want to change something else, they can easily add an overlay on top of the metal blank that we've got. To, to learn more, you know, www.avidine.com. As usual, we've got uh, everything you need there. And also, you know, if you happen to be at Oshkosh, dealers around the show are are uh, very familiar with it, and we're going to be starting installations really probably in the next couple of weeks.